Hello and welcome to Festive Fridays. My name is Kai and I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are on Treaty 6 territory, the homeland of the Métis. Now this week on Festive Fridays, we are going to be making paper ornaments or ball ornaments using circles of paper. All we're going to need in order to make these fun designs is circles of paper and some glue. Now, we can experiment with different sizes of circles or different colors of paper to create different and unique styles. So, without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. The first thing we're going to need to do in order to create these ornaments is to trace our circles. So I'll grab a sheet of paper and something to trace the circles with. I'm using a cup because it's what I happen to have on hand. And you can use whatever you have. So each ball I found works perfectly with about 15 to 20 circles. So we're gonna start tracing those now. Now, once you have all of those traced out, we're gonna grab our scissors and we are going to cut them out. And again, it was about 15 to 20 seemed to be the perfect amount. Now I've gone ahead and pre-cut my circles. So I'll just bring those in here. So I have 20 of my circles cut out. And the next thing we're going to do is to fold them in half, just like that. And they don't have to be exactly perfect, but as close as you can get. And we'll just set those aside. Okay, once all those are folded, we're gonna just push them aside a little bit so we have some room to work. And what we're going to do is grab our glue stick here. And we're going to take our each one of these and we're going to glue right down the middle here, just like that, on every single one of them. And then we'll smooth it down and set the folded piece aside. You might have to go back and smooth them down like this one over here. Didn't like the glue it seemed. Now that all of those are glued, what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling the ball now. So we're gonna take one at a time and we're going to glue them here and here, and then we're going to stack them on top of each other. So just like this, we'll do that one there and that one there and then we will pop it on top. Now the most important thing is to try and line up your edge there, your folded edge, because that's where it's going to matter the most. And then I smooth it down as much as I can. And then we repeat all the way until they're done. Okay, now that that's all glued together, we should have something that looks sort of like a book, but we're not gonna open it up too far just yet. We're gonna set that aside to let the glue dry a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to show you the process for making the alternating colors one. And it's exactly the same, except we're gonna use two different colors of paper. Now I have 10 red and 10 purple circles. 
and we're going to just repeat the entire process. We're going to fold them all in half first and set them aside. Okay, and then we're going to take our glue again and we're going to go right down the middle there. Just there. Okay, with those middles glued, we are going to go ahead and glue our sides now. So now we want to take a red and then a purple and alternate them to get that cool design. And we'll check to make sure it looks okay. Awesome. We're going to set that one aside now. And then we're going to grab this one here and we're going to open it up again. And what we're going to do is we're going to carefully try and extend that all the way around just like this. So we should have a ball just like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to kind of open it up just enough to get glue right there and right there, kind of like we did when we were stacking them together. We're going to open those up again, just like so. And then what I like to do to kind of get it to set a little bit is to grab a paper clip and pop that on there. And I want to line it up where the glue is hanging out. Just like that. And then while that dries, we're going to set it down and we're going to grab our other one. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to carefully try and open it just like this. Sometimes it's a little trickier, doesn't want to work. So you have to kind of ease it open and talk it into doing what we want it to do. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there. And we're going to grab a couple more paper clips. Just like that. Awesome. And there we have it. Our ornaments. Now, we also have the option to add some string to those to make them more ornamenty. So I have a piece of string here and I'm going to tie a loop here and I'm going to wrap the string around a couple of times before I pull it through. Just like that. And then your option is you could, we're going to take this apart. Your option is you can lay that in there before you glue it together, like that. Or if you decided after the fact that you wanted to add a string to it, what you can do is we're going to tie another loop at the top and go around a couple times before we go through just like that and I've taken a paper clip and stretched it out into kind of a hook here 
And what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to pop it through the middle of the ball. And I'm going to pull the string through. Sometimes it takes a little adjusting to get it, but there we go. Just like that. And then we're going to tie a knot on the bottom as well. And there we have it, our holiday ornaments. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you next week. Goodbye.